So now that we've developed polynomial interpolation, um, how might we want to use that? In particular, how might we want to use this for a large number of points? Let's say we have um, a, a set of 100 points. If we apply polynomial interpolation, um, we'll develop a function that by construction goes through that, the, that set of 100 points. Um, but also it means that um, each of the terms will be uh, a 99th order polynomial. Each term will have an x to the 99th in there. Now we know that that might introduce numerical instability. And so in particular, if we look, look here, for example, using uh, scipy interpolate, we can use the function Lagrange that will apply this uh, uh, Lag Lagrange polynomial interpolation for the points x and y. And so what I've picked here is a set of points that are just um, 1 through 19 for x and 1 through 19 for y. And as you can see, the points here are 0 through or 1 through 19 in x and 1 through 19 in y. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm trying to create this, uh, this polynomial, polynomial interpolation for x and y um, and then plotting that between 0 and 20. So there's a little bit of extrapolation, not just interpolation going on here. Um, and one thing you'll notice that at these larger values of x, we start to deviate, even though by construction or function fl, or Lagrange polynomial, should go through those points. Um, so that is caused by the fact that these large powers will introduce numerical instability. And in fact, if you look at the, the documentation for uh, the, this uh, um, interpolation routine, it will tell you that um, we should not expect this to work for more than about 20 points, even if they are chosen optimally. Um, I mean, the points that we've used here are as optimal as one can imagine. They're on a straight line, so the interpolation should be trivial, um, but still this routine fails. So for more than 20 points, because this goes um, like a polynomial um, of the order of the number of points, this starts to break down uh, for a large number of points, as we can see here. Moreover, even if we limit ourselves to a small number of points, um, if we take, for example, the function f2 here, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared, um, so that's a function that uh, should go to 0 for large values of x, both in positive and a negative direction, um, and it should be 1 at x equal to 0. If we now take a set of points, 25 points between minus 5 and plus 5, um, and we use those, as x1 and y1, which we construct a Lagrange polynomial from. So again, we're, we're sort of skirt, uh, getting into the area where um, the, the number of points is large, so where we expect these numerical instabilities. Well, if we plot that, we see that we get an, an additional problem. We don't just get numerical instability, but we get these large up and down swings um, at the extreme ranges of the, um, of the function. Uh, this is actually called um, Runge's phenomenon, um, and that's of course the same Runge as in the Runge-Kutta um, ordinary differential equation algorithm. Um, so this problem occurs due to the high order, in this case, because we take 25 points, it's a 25th order polynomial, um, so that's why we see these large swings um, in the extrema of our, uh, uh, our domain of our function here. So that's another problem with polynomial interpolation for these high orders, which will lead us to um, avoid using that for large numbers of, uh, of data points.